app stores, I think are fantastic. But they can fail in terms of resiliency or, you know, they can bring up privacy concerns. So for example, on Apple's App Store and Google's Play Store, you have to sign into an account and you have to tie every installation for your software to a centralized account. And typically you have payment methods attached to this and other actual PII attached to this as well, personally identifiable information. And what that means is Apple and Google can build a very nice portfolio of everything you use. And that might not seem like a big deal, but that is a big privacy concern. If you ever downloaded a dating app that uh, you don't want someone else to know about, or you don't want it linked to your identity, or you ever download something like a religious app that you don't want tied to your identity, like. All of these things are valid reasons that you don't want those to be tied to your identity. There should be a way to delete those installations from your account. And to my knowledge, there's no way to do that, at least on the iOS side of things. It's like permanently seen as a downloaded app previously. Now, you can get around this by using things like F-Droid, which have better privacy in mind, um, and they're also fairly resilient. But uh, what if something's not an F-Droid? Or what if something is open source, but you don't want to use a centralized app store? You don't like F-Droid for whatever reason. Obtanium, what it does is it's an app that you install. You can install this on any Android device. It doesn't have to be rooted. It doesn't have to have a custom ROM. You can do this on any Android phone. Install Obtanium. Um, you can get it from its website or I think on F-Droid. And then what happens is you essentially just add like a GitHub repo. Just as an example, you can add different websites, but most open source projects post their releases on GitHub. A good example of this is Cake Wallet. So I do marketing for Cake Wallet and I just did a big blog post about what I'm talking about here. And in that blog post, I pretty much show like, okay, you just go on GitHub, go to Cake Wallet's GitHub repo, copy the link, put it in Optanium. And then, you know, I mentioned RSS at the beginning of this live stream. Um, that's what Optanium does. It literally just like pings GitHub, sees if there's a new Cake Wallet APK. You can do this with Signal, you can do this with IVPN, you can do this with Mulvad VPN, you can do this with literally pretty much any open source project that we talk about that is on Android. That also is open source. And what it does is it just automatically installs that piece of software in the background for you. Why you might want this? Because you literally don't have an app store. So super cool. As for things to keep in mind or settings to change, um, the default settings should be pretty good. Um, and I would go through it and see if there's anything you want to change for yourself. It's mostly personal preference. Just make sure you're getting the right link. Um, there are fake repos out there with malware. So uh, there is a little bit more, you know, <sighs> Since you don't have Apple and Google and all these people kind of sifting through your software to make sure it's safe um, and make sure that it's coming from a verified publisher, you just have to make sure you put in that upfront work. But once you add the right link, um, you shouldn't have to do anything and you should be pretty well off. Um, the only possible thing that could go wrong is like if, you know, if a developer's uh, GitHub account gets compromised and then they upload a malicious APK to GitHub, you will get that malicious APK. Theoretically, a centralized entity like Google or Apple might be able to pick up on that risk before it ends up on your device, but that's not a guarantee. But um, those are kind of the different things I would think about with Optanium. Overall, fantastic. It's a super resilient way to get software. It's uh, censorship free, essentially. Like, you know, there's no app to be banned off any platform. You literally are just getting an app from the website. So as long as their GitHub repo is up and even if GitHub takes it down, theoretically someone can fork the repo somewhere else on like GitLabs and you can still use Optanium. So super resilient way to get apps. You're the second video today I've seen today that mentions Optanium, which I've never heard before. Huge fan of F-Droid. Yes, I'm a big fan of it as well. I, I personally think like use them all. Like there's so much like bickering over the best app store, but they just have objective pros and cons. Like, the, you know, everyone's like, I'm the best. And it's like, well, you're the best at like this one thing, but not this other thing. And so I personally would love to see just more like embracing more variety. Like F-Droid is good for certain things. They tell you if there's anti-features in apps, they only host open source software. They also add like a third party that analyzes software to make sure it's safe before it ends up on your phone. F-Droid's awesome. There's a Crescent, but there's like no apps on it. Let's be real, there's like 20 apps and they're good apps and it's more secure, but it's also, it can host proprietary software and some people want an open source only ecosystem. Um, there's Optanium, but that's only also restricted to open source software and it's very DIY and you have to go through it yourself. There's Aurora, which hosts apps you can't get literally anywhere else outside the Play Store. So just wanna like really outline that there truly are wins across all of these app stores and there is Literally no Android limitation that says you can only have one app store. You have to pick one. You can have all four guys. So 
Use all four, try out these app stores, and I hope you guys uh, have some fun and figure out what works best for you. This clip came from our main channel, TechLore, where we talk about digital rights and how to keep yourself and the people around you safe online, as well as just reclaiming a little bit more ownership. If you enjoy this content, want more nuance, and want a little bit more of a deep dive, check out our main channel here on the screen or in the description, and we'll see you there.